We live in the most exciting historical times. There is a window of opportunity that hasn't happened in tens of years where Israel can finally correct the historical mistake we did 50 years ago when we won the war in 67 and we didn't apply Israeli sovereignty. For 50 years, those lands that are ours, that is our biblical heartland, our God-given biblical heartland, were put under a question mark because Israel never applied sovereignty, left the, uh, it under a cloud of questions to whom it belongs, uh, uh, and that is why the world started calling us occupiers, etc. Now, when we have, thank God, a friendly government in, and a friendly president in the United States, when the Palestinian Authority is completely uh, uh, breaking down, when uh, we are celebrating 50 years to the um, uh, victory and the coming back uh, and the renewal of Jewish life in Judea and Samaria, when in Europe they are waking up and realizing how wrong they were and how if they don't wake up themselves, Europe is going to turn in Arabia. Everything in the world is turning around. Everything is uh, 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 changing. Now, Prime Minister Netanyahu, is the time for you to forget about the two-state solution and to do what the majority of the Jewish people want you to do, the application of Israeli sovereignty over Judea and Samaria. That is the message you have to bring to Donald Trump. We cannot expect the President of America to be more Zionistic than the Prime Minister here in Israel. And you have what to say. We know, Don't ask for little crumbs. Don't ask for little, uh, 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 for little things. Ask for everything. Dream big and we are behind you if that is what what your message will be. The land of Israel belongs to the people of Israel. The entire land of Israel belongs to the people of Israel. We have to apply Israeli sovereignty over it.